this is actually a process by which we take our buyers through a thinking journey that helps our buyer come to their own conclusions. Hello, I'm delighted to have Bill Carson with me. Welcome, Bill. Hello, John. Well, great to be here. Thank you. Look, I'm looking forward to doing a series of interviews with you, and I thought I'd start with something I know you're really passionate about, and that is the skill salespeople need to have in asking questions yes. and, and how they go about that to really do a good discovery. Yes, yes. Can you tell me why you're so passionate about that? Well, um, typically sellers think that closing is really important or their, their product, but the ability to actually influence and guide the customer's thinking is, is massively important. And I've found that it distinctly makes a huge amount of difference. Okay, so let's talk about how they do that. What, mm -hmm. what, what's a salesperson really need what sort of skills and how does they think about framing their questions mm. and, and, and I assume bringing commercial insight to the table through the questions they ask? Absolutely. See, the, the fundamentals are knowing the difference between the open and closed question, but beyond that, it's the strategy. Where are you taking the, the, the buyer's thinking? What, are, what is it that you're looking to uncover? And, and there's a process there of exploring, of discovering, and then of actually guiding the thinking. And when that's done really well, then it creates a situation where there's an alignment between what's being talked about and what's so being used, offered. So you use the words guiding the thinking. I'd yes. like to explore that a little bit more. Yes. What, what do you really mean by that? Well, guiding the thinking is, is to have an end in mind. It's, it's also to... Sometimes it's not in a manipulative way to have an end in mind. I was going to say that. I, I really I despise yeah. any sales training that talks about how to manipulate your way through yeah, a sales we, process. We all hate that. You yeah. know, it's, it's about being authentic. But that if we apply a discovery or an exploring um, approach initially, what we're needing to do is uncover where the thinking is, where the issues are, where the challenges, where the opportunities are that need to be uncovered. And then in the process then of uncovering those, then we create some alignment between what it is that we have to sell and what the buyer's needs are. Okay, but that comes later, doesn't it? It Absolutely. does not early on. No, definitely Now, later. what about... You know, we talk a lot in, in this day and age about insight selling and challenger. Yeah. So is that really related to what we're doing here and the way we ask questions? Absolutely. And, and I apply a model which I call into the hole and up to the hill. So, say it again. Yeah, into the hole and up to the hill. Into the hole and up to the hill. Yeah, the logic is that what we have to do, and this is true in any uh, di um, conversational influence uh, discussion, there's a process by which we take the person that we're talking with uh, into an understanding, first of all, the background, then what are the problems they're experiencing, and then into the consequences and costs of those problems. And then you can't put a solution while they're in the hole. You've got to put them into the SUV and take them up the hill, which means exploring what have they done so far to solve this problem? That's the S. Uh, in other words, what's the solution? What's the urgency? What's the value? What's the vision that they have in terms of what the solution would look like? And once you bring their thinking to that place, then we can talk about what our solution would look like. And, and part of bringing them to that place, I guess, is us also bringing insight to the table. Yes. Commercial insight. Yeah, commercial insight. Where we've got understandings of what's ha happened in other parts of the world that they may not have and probably won't have if yes. you know, they haven't got the experience we've got as a salesperson. Yeah. So if we can bring that commercial insight, we can actually put on the table some real value in, yes. in the thinking process yeah, and, yeah. and we are taking through that thinking journey that you used. Absolutely, you just nailed it there, John, and that is that in summarising this is actually a process by which we take our buyers through a thinking journey that helps our buyer come to their own conclusions, whether it lines up with our insights or that they generate their own insights from what we bring to them. That's brilliant. I love the way you express that. So it's a thinking journey that we take the customer through yes. and we do it together with the customer. Beautiful. It's a partnering process in collaboration. Yes. Love it. Hey, I look forward to talking to you the next time. Fantastic. Thanks, John. It's been great to be here and great to work with you.